Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Gavin, a.k.a. Cole, a.k.a. It Does Not Even Matter. I was thinking about when I was 18, just starting off, right? And I was coming into myself, trying to figure out photography, figure out where I am in life. And the funniest part was I needed my portfolio to be filled and I had to look for models. Nothing is more devastating when a new photographer starts out. They need to start their portfolio and they run into the worst models that is in their city. I'm talking about the models who are germaphobes. I'm talking about the ones who come in with too much equipment. They bring a whole team with them for no reason. Um, they show up late. It's all those things, right? And you get scared and you get discouraged and you really don't realize there's a such thing as a professional model who's with an agency or they're independent and they have rates and things of that nature and you don't have the money. So you deal with the freebies and nothing free is good. Allegedly. Anyway, this week, we're going to talk about the top five models you need to avoid as a photographer. All right, let's dig in. All right, so the first people you got to learn to avoid is the social media. Hold on, let's do it. Wait, I can't say that. Can I say that? I don't know if I can say that. So that might get bleep. Look, the thirsty people, the people who thirst, they die of thirst. The Kendrick Lamar line, look, they die in the thirst for social media approval, likes, um, validation, all the avoid those models. I don't care how beautiful she is. I don't care how cool he is. I don't care. Avoid those people. What does the social media, social media thirst buckets look like? They look like anybody who do anything for likes. They will lie. They will steal. They will come in with clothes they, they don't own. They can't afford, which I'm not mad about. Keep the tags on, but nothing's worse than photographing a model who has to hold the tags on to the clothes they cannot afford to own, but want you to think they do. Um, they always have drama surrounding them. Every time they get on loan, uh, get online, excuse me, it's their work. It's them complaining. It's them fake crying. It's them feeling like, yo, the world is against me, and they would do anything to go viral. They will actually participate in shit that they don't even do, right? And it's crazy. Honestly, they should just be a reality star who, because you get paid more doing that. I'm a reality star, and I just so happen to be pretty enough or cool enough to model. That's what they should do, but they're doing it the wrong way, right? And then you ever notice the people that cry online? You always want to know, like, yo, how many times? I always want to know these questions. How many times did you record yourself? How many times did you, while uploading, you realize, like, I could do this better? How many times did you, like, adjust your tears or think about your tears and be like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I always want to know all these questions, right? And then, how many social platforms did you run it up? Uh, my favorite is the people who use crime videos from like old videos, mash them all together to like make an announcement. It's like, bruh, you are a goofball. So, always, the thirst buckets for social media, some key red flags is, yo, their likes and, follow they likes and follows don't match up. Or they likes and comments don't match up. Um, and then I love it when they make you collab on a post and then you get to see their likes and you realize like, damn, it's only 10 likes. And then everything else is just hidden from everybody else. That's another thing. Number two, yo, avoid the cheap models. Cheap models will, you're talking to them, right? So you get them on the phone. You're like, hey, I want to work with you. Um, and this is clearly a collab situation. This is not you hiring somebody because when you talk to models that you're hiring, they let it, they let it be known what they're going to do, what they're not going to do, right? So when you're starting off and you collab in the cheap models, you would tell them like your idea and then they will always find a way to undercut it. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, instead of a makeup artist, I do my own makeup. Oh, no, I think I'm going to get this outfit even though I see it on this site, but I'm going to check Shein, I'm going to check Fashion Nova, I'm going to check Pretty Little Thing. I ain't mad at those ideas, right? Because it's a lot of stylish stuff on there. Um, but then they hit you with the, oh, no, no. I think, I think I got something. Or when they show up to set, they have none of the stuff you discuss, right? Um, also, whenever y'all want to do stuff to make a shoot happen, they can't do it because they can't afford it. Oh, no, I don't want to catch an Uber to this. Yo, y'all know I really had a girl who wanted me to pay for her bus, like her bus fee to get to a shoot. And this girl had like, Granted, they was fake. She had like 50,000 followers online and she, never mind. I, I digress because she's actually popping in Charlotte, allegedly. The point is this, the cheap people, they always find a way to like cheap, cheap, cheapen up a shoot. And then my favorite line is they will let you know 
that photographers and models should always collab, should never charge each other, a.k.a. you should never charge them. And they also will let you know that they don't believe that photographers should be paid. Watch out for those people. However, they are not worse than the control freaks. The control freaks will actually come on a shoot. They will tell you what angle they're supposed to be in, where your light should supposed to be, what where their hair looks better. They don't know nothing about your job. They know what makes them look good, and they want to control everything, right? They will literally, if it's a group shot, they will tell everybody else where they need to be so it's relevant to where they should be. They are destructive. Run from those models as well. Um, my favorite model is the late models. Their excuses, matter of fact, they're actually this is my favorite. The late models always are apologetic. They, besides being late, they show up, they're apologetic, they running in, they don't have nothing. Everything else above, they're usually that, right? So they don't have anything. And then my favorite part is the excuse they make up. I've had tires go out. I've had a girl who was unemployed talk about how she was conducting interviews. Don't ask me. Do not ask me how that's possible. But the late models always got an excuse, and they always late. I wish there was like a review site where we could review models, but I'm pretty sure they'll get it shut down. And I'm going to be, never mind. I'm not even going to dip my foot in that. Um, and lastly, look, this is dangerous. So this is actually serious. Be weary of the substance, the substance abuse models. These are the models who, when they show up, they got drugs on them. And I ain't talking about no weed, even though that's annoying as well. Like models that show up under the influence are super annoying simply because they might be coping with other issues, but we're not going to address that. They might be coping just to calm their nerves on this situation, and they don't understand how that affects the way they look, the way they sound, the way they body move, what they think is cool. Um, so be weary of that. But I'm not even talking about the weed shit. I'm talking about, um, yo, to the models that show up on Coke, who do Coke in front of you, I had a girl bust down. Look, true story. I'm in Vegas. I already know, right? And I'm with this girl. We're about to shoot. And she said, can I bust down? And I'm thinking about, she talking about, can she gut a, a blunt, right? I'm like, all right, whatever. Yo, when I say my girl lined up the table, and I was like, what is going on? And she did lines right before she started her shoot. Them pictures are so bad. They're well gone. But that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Or the girls, if you, excuse me, not the girls, or the models, you notice that they drink all the time. They show up with liquor. Um, they stay in the club. They uh, they abuse substances. Avoid those. The reason why I'm saying it, not because your work is going to be trash, but honestly, they show up hungover. And that is a great opportunity for you to be a liability, for you to have a liability on your hands, or for you to be arrested because who knows? Avoid those models at all costs. Look, I hope y'all like this. This was quick. We did a couple episodes. I do want everybody, please check out the Payton Exposure website. Check out the podcast. Get you occasionally creative tea. Please, they on sale right now, I think. But they, it's something there. But you know. Anyway, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time.